Hello little genius and welcome to Art with Teacher Ruena. Well, that's not a picture of me, no, it's Leonardo da Vinci. Say that again, Leonardo da Vinci. He was born in 1452, a long time ago in Italy, and he died in 1519 in France. Well, let's get started. Da Vinci was a genius. He was an artist, inventor and scientist. Well, actually quite a lot. He was a brilliant, brilliant artist, sculptor, draftsman, inventor, scientist, mathematician, engineer, costume maker, writer and musician. He was also very interested in the laws of science and nature which greatly influenced his work. The name Leonardo da Vinci translates to Leonard from the town of Vinci. That sounds quite weird, but that was how they named people back then. Imagine if your name was Jack from the town of Secunda. <laughs> Remember, Leonardo was a Renaissance artist. He lived in the Renaissance period. And we are also listening to Renaissance instrumental music in the background. But before we go on, let's quickly look at important words. Quickly pause the video here and write down these words in your workbook. Number one, proportion. Quickly say proportion. This describes the size, location or amount of one thing compared to another. This is a drawing made by da Vinci in 1490, the Vitruvian man. It represents the ideal human body proportions. Did you know your forearm, yes, your forearm and your foot are the same length? Quickly check! Okay, okay, back to writing again. Number two, anatomy. Say that. Anatomy. It's the study of the structure of living things. Look at this picture example. Number three, Renaissance. Wait, what? Teacher, what on earth is Renaissance? No. <laughs> Renaissance. Yes, good. Renaissance was a period in time from the 14th to the 17th century during which important developments and discoveries in areas such as art and science took place. The word itself means rebirth. Number four, Renaissance man refers to a person that is an expert and very multi-talented in many areas. For example, Leonardo da Vinci on the left and Michelangelo. Say that, Michelangelo. Well done! Almost done writing. Number five, museum. A building that holds a collection of objects that are found in nature or objects that people created. Have you been to a museum before? Hmm, number six, BC. It means before Christ. Seven, invention. A new thing that someone has made. Eight, detail. It's a small part of something larger. For example, I see detail on the inside of your eyes. Well done, you are so smart. Make sure you write down all seven definitions. Leonardo is without a doubt known as one of the greatest painters of all time and quite possibly the most talented person that has ever lived. Historian Helen Gardner said, His mind and personality seem to us superhuman. The man himself, mysterious and remote. Wow, that's quite a statement to make. That he was superhuman? He must have been good. 
Let me introduce you to one of his most famous artworks, the Mona Lisa. It's a 16th century portrait made in the Renaissance era in Florence, Italy. It was considered one of the most famous paintings in the world and currently hanging in the Louvre Museum in Paris. It's owned by the government of France and she has her own room in the Louvre. It's a very special artwork. The Mona Lisa is set on display for public in the Louvre Museum right now. The Louvre was a royal palace which at the end of the 18th century was converted into a public museum. The museum displays about 35,000 objects or artworks and Mona Lisa is the most famous of them all. You might ask, why is the Mona Lisa famous? Well, according to studies, Mona Lisa is famous because it was the first painting that used the one-point perspective. For example, the use of background and it became the standard for all future portrait paintings. Furthermore, the unusual smile, timeless eyes and how the woman looks both young and old at the same time makes the painting one of its kind. Another reason that caused its fame was its theft by an artist and when it was recovered it was displayed all over France. This is one of Da Vinci's other artworks, The Last Supper, a very famous artwork. It is a picture of the Last Supper of Jesus and his disciples. It shows how they reacted when Jesus said that one of them would betray him. Each disciple has their own expression showing their own reaction to what Jesus has just told them. Leonardo's drawings are also quite extraordinary. He would keep journals full of drawings and sketches often of different subjects that he was studying. Some of his drawings were previous to later paintings, some were studies of anatomy, some were closer to scientific sketches. One famous drawing is the Vitruvian Man drawing. It is a picture of man who has perfect proportions based off the notes from the Roman architect Vitruvius. Other famous drawings include a design for a flying machine and a self-portrait. Leonardo the Inventor and Scientist Many of Da Vinci's drawings and journals were made in his pursuit of scientific knowledge and inventions. His journals were filled with over 13,000 pages of his observations of the world. He drew pictures and designs of hang gliders, helicopters, war machines, musical instruments, various pumps and more. He was interested in civil engineering projects and designed a single span bridge, a way to divert the Arno River, and movable barricades which would help protect a city in the case of attack. Here are some of his inventions. Wow, he was really a genius! Quickly look at this picture on the right. What kind of writing is this, you might ask? Leonardo wrote backwards in his notes and journals. Can you believe it? Some people say it's because he was left-handed and it was easier, but some people say it was so nobody could steal his ideas. What do you think? This is called mirror writing. Say that again, mirror writing. Leonardo wrote in Italian using a special kind of shorthand that he invented himself. He usually used mirror writing starting at the right side of the page and moving to the left. Quickly try it out. Write down a sentence using your own name. For example, hello, my name is Tato. Now write it backwards, the same as Leonardo da Vinci. Well done! Art activity. Pause the video here and quickly answer a few questions in your workbook or journal. Wait for the next slide.
Right, little genius, let's get started with the questions. First, copy them in your workbook and then you answer the questions. 1. When was Leonardo born? 2. Name two of his most famous paintings. 3. What was his occupation, meaning his job? 4. Name the style or period that he was part of. 5. Where is the Mona Lisa artwork today? 6. What is the meaning of BC? 7. Write an example sentence of mirror writing. So write your own sentence indicating what's mirror writing. Number 8. What is the meaning of proportion? Remember the important word? Proportion. 9. What is the meaning of Renaissance? 10. Which artwork by Leonardo da Vinci is your favorite and why? Write two sentences stating why a specific artwork is your favorite. Yes, you are done with the questions. Now for the fun part. Let me read the instructions to your activity. Da Vinci was well known for his careful observations and research of the natural world. Many of his paintings and drawings were based on his findings. Find a leaf or leaves outside in your garden and look at it very carefully. Try to find all the little veins and stems in it and pay attention to its shape. After you have looked at it, try to draw it on paper. You may draw more than one leaf as long as it's in detail. You may pause the video now to read the instructions again. You will need paper to draw on. Then you'll need a leaf or leaves from the garden. When you're done drawing the leaf, you may also draw a rock or sticks from the garden. You'll need a pencil, coloring pencils and eraser. And four, you'll definitely need creativity and an eye for detail. Remember the definition of detail? You learned about it, yes. If you are having a hard time drawing your leaf, don't stress. Look at this step-by-step -step explanation. It might help you. Your final artwork should look something like this. If you observe this artwork and analyze it, you'll see that there's color, there's shape, the artist paid attention to detail, and I can even see the shadow of the leaf. Look at the stem of the leaf. Underneath it, you'll see the little shadow. Go ahead and draw yours. This is also an example of different types of leaves. A lovely autumn leaf on the left and a green leaf on the right. Go ahead and try it. I can't wait to see your artworks. Enjoy and have fun. And remember to listen to encouraging, inspirational music when you are drawing. Remember, you are also a genius in the making. Have fun. Thank you for spending time with me in the art class today. Now you know more about the artist Leonardo da Vinci. Stay safe everyone. Remember to wash your hands.